Money is a great tool. Fame can be a tool in and of itself. But uh, well, one, you know, money is just that. It's just a tool. It's just something to be used for a purpose, one way or the other. And fame, fame is built on what other people think about you, not reality. I've learned a lot over the four decades of health and fitness and being in the trenches with the greatest in the world. And one of those things I've learned a lot more about and how to build better muscle is nutrition and how it has changed over the decades. And that's why I have the Titan meal plan for you guys out there that are confused about nutrition. I'm going to set you straight. Get a hold of me today. The link will be in the comments down below for you guys. Everybody, get over to the Titan meal plan and I'll see you in the Titan crew where I will fine tune any difficulties that you're having. Because I'm going to talk to you about that on how you stayed, stayed in the grind to continue. <laughs> Because it's fun for you. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's We passion. love this stuff. I wouldn't have bothered to, have got, uh, to put myself in this occupation for as long as I have if I didn't like it. Right? It's just too brutal. It's too shitty. It's just too hard on you. To have someone punch you in the face day in and day out if you don't love it. And uh, you know, I tell the same to all these other fighters. Like, don't do it because you think you're going to be famous or make money or anything. Because most of the time, most people will not. But you have to decide that you have your journey and you need to walk it and it's important to you to walk it for the reasons that are important to you it's interesting i think jeffrey can confirm this a lot of the stuff he's saying is very similar to the stuff you probably heard me say it's uh it's, it's one to one it's it's amazing and it's we've talked problem. about the way we've fir tree around us when we grew up <laughs> man it's it's <laughs> you hit him? You hit him? Yeah. <laughs> so, because I love that, that it's, we're not going to do this if it's solely for the point of fame and money. If we get that, great, but we'll do it before, after. Yeah, well, you, you also need to understand that uh, money is a great tool. Fame can be a tool in and of itself. But uh, well, one, you know, money is just that. It's just a tool. It's just something to be used for a purpose, one way or the other. And fame, fame is built on what other people think about you, not reality. But we're saying that to a 17-year-old. We're saying yeah. that to right here, 13-year-olds, 12-year-olds. How can you say? Because because that's the one. How do we take? You've been famous. You are famous. Yeah. You, you've made money. You have money. How do you tell a a 14 year old that hasn't done it yeah. that's not the goal and and you know you see all the people that are famous and popular right in whatever you're into and you're like well they look like they're having the time of their lives well one it's supposed to look like they're having the time of their lives the the, the way everything is done is on purpose to, to be that way but also uh, it's relative man you know whatever is good for them doesn't mean it's good for you and uh, as much as I can enjoy being at an Olympia and hanging out and going to the booths and shooting the shit and doing pose offs with you and goofing off and all that excitement. I like to turn that switch off and get away from it. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not here to just entertain all the time. I have my own life, my own way, my own privacy, and that's the most important to me. How does that feel on your back? It feels fine. Feel safe? Yeah. That's, that's the real, I want it to feel safe, like, uh, you could load some weight in that position and you can handle it. Yeah. Try this when you're initiating your squat. Try not to lock your knees out, but instead keep them just ever so bent. So you're under that bar, you're getting set, right? And you start getting that ass back. Don't lock yeah. your knee out first. Just let that hinge happen at the, at the hip. Uh, and get yourself in that position, Mike had that halfway point, and then boom, go into your squat. Mike only had you drop maybe an extra two inches because you were almost already on that low bench, which at your height, that's pretty good. Uh, so Mike had you drop it just a little lower to watch where your form was, to see what happens. And you, what it did is it made you adjust even a little bit more. You felt it get lower. You're like, oh, this is stranger. This is, I feel a little weaker here. Your chest went up more. Your ass went down more. Your legs locked in and then he had you come up. Probably a lot like 
So we just finished one movie um, and turned out great. I am loving it. I love the dailies that we see. On to the next project. If you finish, you keep going, you keep trying to go. That's, I guess, a, a better way to say it. And this next movie that I have booked, this is gonna take all of me. This is gonna take uh, um, Slice to the Bone, um, all the character development, but also I need to be able to move and grow and keep that strength uh, through this process. You'll understand why that is after you see the movie, but keeping the strength is key when you're dieting. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that on Power Bodybuilding. You guys have a great day and I'll see you over there. You in a position, if somebody's beating you, you change your position, getting in a solid place to turn them over. That same thing, it was beautiful. Natural for you to be in that strong position, yeah? Even though you're a fake natty. <laughs> no, you, you, that's your job. <laughs> How long do you have to rest between your sets and reps? How long do you usually rest? Like what? Yeah. Probably wait, two minutes ish. I I get most of my workouts at school because usually I have. Right now I'm wrestling, so it'll be weight training is done basically through the school gym, and then it'll be football practice, and then you're out for the day. So are you training two minutes between the? It's like. Sets. The way they did it now, it's like a timer, almost, because yeah. they superset everything. Okay. You see where your heel was just on that platform? Good. Put the other one on the other side. Now a little less foot. There you go. Now this is craziness. This is going to... So the other one was working your hips, your hamstrings, your quads, right? Yeah. This is working your knees. That's it. So I'll do exercises that purposely develop just those strong joint spots so you can continue to use that. So for this, now you're gonna stay up, squat down, Does bend the yeah, bend knees, back up, go again, up, again, good, keep going. Would you normally do these with a barbell or with dumbbells? Yeah. We'll go, we'll still, you know, it's all relative, but we'll still go up to 315 or 4 or 5 like this. See how the pressure's on the knees now? Yeah. And so you're making it force and stay strong. That's why you wouldn't use much weight on this. Slow and controlled. The speed doesn't change. Very good. Just one more thing. Does it hurt the knees? It doesn't, right? Do you see how or feel how that could strengthen them over a period of time? Yeah. And again, this isn't a month or two months, but like in five years, that's that's the goal. And you just take this up slowly. And you can do this on the same day or on another day. You can come into the gym and work out either way. Would you, let's say, Design, there, a, my friend. design a squat program where you've got, of course, your main lift is your primary lift would be your back squat, and then you'd have your accessories, and this would be one of them. This could be that way, um, and yes, I would do it that way, um, but it also depends on, um, and I wouldn't just do it that way. Okay. So, yeah, it would it depend, like, as I get ready for uh, guest posing, I would switch over to something like this because it's harder than the regular squats. Mm -hmm. But it's also, I know that I'm in a deficit. So for me, I like doing harder things when you're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. And so I know now I don't have the calories. Now I'm gonna put myself in that position and make sure even though we're getting close to it, it's like, so it'd be the same concept for you. No, not you, you're a heavyweight. Well, no, you still had to get 265. Well, yeah, I was usually under though. Okay. Yeah, but I have to, but you yeah, see what I'm saying? Weight, yeah. For the, the 190 guy, mm -hmm. he had to get there but he's coming down from 215. It's like, cool, I, I'm glad you're strong at 215, but you're fighting at 190. Mm -hmm. So what that, what's that gonna be, that diet in those last couple of days of water and all this? And so I got an enjoyment, and that could just be me being psycho, is I got an enjoyment knowing that I could walk on stage and I'm still as strong as the power That's lifters. The confidence builder, yeah. Yeah, and, and confidence is key. It's that time again to get my blood work done to see where my numbers are. Again, the one big thing for me is I'm keeping track of it. It's so precise. You know, I 
competed in bodybuilding and powerlifting and martial arts, but that was all over decades ago. And so how can I continue to keep this physique and be this strong at this stage? And so that is by optimizing my health with Titan Medical. It all stems from one thing, your blood work, what's going on inside of you. And that's the main thing that I'm focused about is see how I can continue to not just be in the game. I don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna be a weekend warrior. I don't wanna say you got a dad bod. I wanna be the pinnacle of the health and fitness industry decades after I competed. And I've always said this too, you got so many of these guys that were with me in the 80s and 90s and they keep putting the pictures up from the 80s and 90s. I don't wanna be that guy. I like the fact that I can still put up pictures of me today, even though I won the universe back in the 90s. That's the goal for me. I don't know what your goal is, but I can tell you this, I know you wanna live and I know you wanna live your best life. And that starts with blood work. Over at Titan Medical, start today.